Hello, welcome to Lady Scorpius Tarot. I'm your host, Lady Scorpius. Today we're going to be reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2022. This would be a three-card general reading, so please, please take the messages that resonate, leave the rest behind. And as always, if you guys would like to see what's going on in your personal life, you can check out my website and book a personal reading on LadyScorpiusTarot.com, as well as check out my memberships, my products on there, and the other services that I provide. You guys, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell. Hit all so you can get my video alerts. And yeah, let's get into it for Scorpio. Shout out to my Scorpios for coming in at number one last month with the most views. So I'm going to start with y'all first. Let's see what's going on. We're going to be using my Oracle deck, which is the Flower Child Oracle by me, Lady Scorpius. And let's see what's going on. Universal Spirit, Angels Ascending, Guys and Masters, please give me messages. Lords and Goddesses, please give me messages for my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2022. What messages do you have for my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2022? What is coming towards them? What is flowing out their life? Give me messages out of love, light, and clarity for my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What, can you, what message do you have for them, Spirit? What should they know for the month of September? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2022. Give me three cards for my Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2022. I should get my Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2022. I actually get messages I love like party. Give me one more card for Scorpio. Scorpio, Summer Rising Venus for September 2022. All right. This card came out first, so let's go with that. Mm. Some of you guys got a beta male, beta female coming towards you. Somebody that's kind of submissive or just go with the flow. Not, you don't, for some of you guys, you might have a person where you just don't feel protected with this person. It could be somebody from the past. Um, but I do feel like you guys are... You know, had some people from the past that it just didn't work out. Maybe you didn't feel secure with them. You didn't feel stable with them. Maybe they wasn't grounded enough. I feel like some some people are dealing with past energy. Some of my Scorpios. The overall energy we have is stay grounded. So stay grounded for the month of September. You know, I feel like it's going to be people coming around or, you know, an ex-person can come around that can try to, like, throw you off your square, shake your foundation, or try to interrupt what you have going on. Um, the first card we have is new home. So congratulations to my Scorpios if you just got a new home. We have codependent, codependent partnership. And we have the ex-boyfriend and ex-girlfriend. So like I said before, I'm feeling like it's someone from the past, ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, take what resonates that. They can be a, the codependent type. They can see that you have this new home, this new foundation, and they could be wanting to be a part of that. You know, become your partner for codependent reasons. So if you have anybody from the from the past that's trying to return, and you know you have moved on, you you you're growing, you're being you know you're fruitful now, you're established, you're abundant, you have your own home, your own place, you're secured and stable. I do feel like you might have some people from the past that's watching you, Scorpio, trying to see you come up, trying to watch you glow up, and they want to be a part of that. We have the codependent partnership. So maybe in the past you were connected to this person, and it was just nothing but codependent. You know, it was like a codependent attachment, and you were release yourself from that you're just focusing on yourself and staying grounded for the month of you know September and just moving forward with your life you're trying to stay grounded you're trying to focus on the things that matters the most to you you're trying to keep yourself level-headed you're trying to keep yourself above you know you don't want to have your head above the clouds you want to stay grounded you know and I feel like you could have been dealing with somebody that had you feeling aloof or you know confused or you know had you feeling like you didn't know which direction the situation was going to go but I feel like you pulled yourself out of that. A lot of you guys are focusing on your abundance, your stability, your home, your structure, your foundation. And someone wants to be a part of that. So we're going to go ahead and see what's going on and clarify these cards, though. And see what's going on. I'm going to make sure all the cards is up right. For my Scorpios. Let's see what's going on for the new home. What is the energy surrounding this for my Scorpios for the month of September? Universal Spirit, clarify a new home. Why is a new home card here for my Scorpios for the month of September 2022? Scorpio, Summer, Rising, and Venus, clarify a new home for my Scorpio. We have the Five of Cups and the Moon card. Some of you guys, is going to be Pisces energy. Some of you guys, Cancer. Could be a Scorpio as well. We have 
Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Water, Energy. I feel like with the Five of Cups, some of you guys could have a new home. Maybe it could be some type of secret surrounding your home. Maybe somebody from the past is regretting, you know, not connecting with you because of this new home. Maybe they see that you're abundant now. Maybe they realize that the cups was spilled over. Could be some type of regrets that somebody is holding back from saying. You know, um, for some of you guys, it could be a person that's surrounding you. That could be secretly keeping their thoughts and their emotions to themselves. They can see you being abundant on your own, well off, and it's like now they're feeling sorry or they got some type of regrets. Some of you might, guys, if this is you, you might even have some type of regrets about your home and maybe secretly you're not letting people know that, know that okay? Maybe you're going through some type of um, issues within the home, okay? For some of you guys, um, take what resonates, but I do feel like I do see a few different stories. I do feel like for some of you guys, you might have a person that they can feel like, like I said, once again, at one point in time, y'all might have had a connection there, but the cups were spilled over. Things didn't work out well. It was some type of sadness, regrets, a pain, uh, maybe some turbulence, um, confusion, emotional confusion. And I feel like this person is like secretly maybe wanting to come back to you, but they're knowing that, you know, you they might even feel like you won't even accept that because they already hurt you a lot. Okay, and they can see, like I said, they can see you in this new home. And some of you guys might be having a few issues with your home. Maybe you might be dissatisfied with some things in your home. Um, maybe some things just came out of nowhere um, that was hidden surrounding your new home. And now you got to deal with that. Um, but I'm seeing two different stories, okay? Clarify, clarify. Give me another clarify for new home for my Scorpio. Some of you guys Venus for the month of September 2022. Clarify new home for my Scorpio. Some of you guys Venus for the month of September Okay, yeah, we had the judgment card, and it kind of came up in reverse. So, yeah, someone from the past is trying to resurrect this shit. I feel like somebody from the past you can be dealing with. Um, it could be Libra for some of you guys, but I do feel like somebody from the past is wanting to resurrect some stuff with you, Scorpio. Because, like I said, they see that they regret. They regret, like, maybe doing you wrong or not being honest with their emotions and telling you truly how they feel. They can see that you're enjoying your new home, that you're grounded right now. You're focused on yourself. And it's like, this person's wanting to resurrect that. And I feel like since it came in reverse, it's like, you guys are not even trying to resurrect anything with anybody from the past, especially an ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend, okay? Or a codependent person. But I feel like somebody is like, and if it's some of you guys, this might be a judgment on your home for some of you guys. But I do feel like, for the most part, it could be definitely somebody from the past, yeah. We had a Queen of Wands in reverse, Leo Sagittarius, and then Three of Cups. They came in reverse. So I feel like a lot of you guys, it's like you were dealing with somebody that was just kind of coming around for, like, passionate hookups, maybe one-night stand, hookup, whatever. The person could have been definitely unbalanced, unstable with the Queen of Wands in reverse. And there could be a lot of, like, toxicity with this person. This person could have also been a narcissist. You know, only worrying about themselves and what they can gain out of the situation. I feel like with the three of cups being here, this person could be wanting to reconcile with you, but I feel like they're just not interested, Scorpio. Or Spirit is telling you, do not reconcile with anybody that's coming in upside down. Coming in unbalanced. Coming in with toxicity. Because so I feel like this person is, like, trying to reconcile with you because they could be missing your emotions that you gave them. Or, you know, the, the nurturing sign that you shared at one point in time. Maybe even a sexual chemistry. But it's like, you're not even... Some of you guys, you're not even being intimate with people right now. Some of you guys... <clears throat> some of my Scorpios could be celibate right now and you, you could be not even interested in hooking up with anyone um, from the past or <clears throat> or just like you're not even dating right now for some of you guys but let's go ahead and see what's going on with this codependent partnership clarify codependent partnership for Scorpio some move around the Venus for September 2022 why codependent partnership is here for my Scorpio Alright, yeah, we have the Eight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the Eight of Wands, the Seven of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Leo, Sag, Aries. Somebody that, I feel like this is definitely the ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend, okay, that you're trying to stay grounded from. This person, you could have been in a codependent partnership with them at one point in time. Um, some of you guys, you could still be in a situation where as though you guys are in a situation with somebody that it was a lot of hurt, regret, sorry sorrow and pain surrounding maybe like a home foundation stability emotions even the person like stepping out being a player and now trying to resurrect some shit but you see that they're not really working 
as they should, you know, hard as they should to resurrect this. And I feel like this is why you're not paying it no mind, Scorpio, y'all. But with that being said, I feel like some of you guys can feel trapped in a codependent relationship, okay? You could be wanting to, like, take some fast-moving action, maybe even communicate that you're tired of the the emotions, the, the confusion, the emotional battle. I feel like the Seven of Cups, you could be dealing with somebody that has a lot of options. Scorpio, maybe you might have a lot of options that's making you confused right now on what to do because you could be stuck in this codependent partnership and feeling trapped and wanting to get out of it, but then also have a lot of people that's like kind of trying to you know talk to you right now and like check up on you and like take action towards you and so it's leaving you with a lot of burdens a lot of emotional confusion but i feel like with the seven that comes being here some of you guys could be possibly dealing with a person that you're feeling maybe codependent with maybe it could be some money or attachment uh, maybe emotionally codependent you could be codependent on them emotionally or um you know financially but i feel like it's definitely causing a lot of confusion for some of my scorpios because it's like you have a lot of love to give but the people that you're dealing with or the offers that's around you it's just these offers are not they're not you know satisfying offers i feel like they're coming in with like half cups coming in with like different hidden agendas and it's like you need to truly truly decide what's best for you and get out of this mental prison that you're putting yourself in for some of my scorpios you're feeling like you're in a mental prison um and like i said a lot of these people that's around you right now it's just not beneficial to you all right let's go ahead and see why the seven of cups is here for my scorpios clarifying the codependent partnership Clarify some of the cups, clarifying codependent partnerships from the Scorpio Summer Rise and Venus for September 2022. Spirit, clarify the seven of the cups and codependent partnership from Scorpio Summer Rise and Venus for September 2022. Ooh, okay, we had a few cards that came out. All right, so we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, and the King of Swords. You guys are feeling emotionally confused around a connection that you're in. Maybe some of you guys might feel like the person you're with is the breadwinner. Um, and you know, maybe you could be the more logical one, the one that makes more sense. I feel like you could be with this person for, you know, money reasons, or maybe you could have found out the truth that this King of Swords is, you know, dealing with you and another person with the Seven of Cups. I feel like it's a lot of options. We have two Kings here and two Queens. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Swords, Virgo, Capricorn, and some of you guys are dealing with Five of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Queen of Cups, your energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Four of Cups, and then we have the Magician, Aquarius, okay? So a lot of you guys are feeling some type of confusion. Once again, feeling trapped, feeling stuck, confused with these options. Some of you guys got options. One person, you can be dealing with them for maybe financial reasons, or they're coming in more financially stable. But with the Five of Swords, they're coming in with a lot of lies and secrets, okay? They're not telling you the truth. You're wanting this person to be more honest with you. A lot of you guys, there could be a lot of passion, a lot of sexual chemistry with them, or you could be having somebody on the side that you're hooking up with, Scorpio, or somebody that's wanting to come in and hook up with you. But right now, with the Four of Cups, I feel like a lot of you guys ain't feeling nobody, male or female. You're not feeling anything because these offers you're bored with these offers you're discontent with these offers it's like you're wanting to manifest something new you guys want to manifest something a new beginning or something fulfilling and i feel like with the king of swords it's like some type of truth will be revealed okay you can also find out the truth that maybe the person that you were dealing with was dealing with a third party okay and this is why you're not giving them your emotions anymore with the four of cups you can be holding back their your emotions because of this third party energy Four of Cups talks about boredom, you know, not accepting the emotional offer that's being given to you because you're you're in your head about emotional feelings from an, with another person. So a lot of you guys can even be, you know, trapped between multiple people. Okay. Clarify the magician card for Scorpio Sun Moon Rising and Venus for the month of September twenty twenty two. And for some of you guys, this could be somebody that could be trapped between you and another person, Scorpio. That might you might be having a Leo Sagittarius that can see you as very sexy, very passionate. They could be very attracted to you, but they can also see that you're bored with them. Um, or maybe you're not really accepting the offer. Um, maybe you need to be some type of truthful com conversation. Maybe you also being truthful to this person about them needing to step it up. You know, they're not offering you enough. If this was to even be in a, con a true connection, it would lead to codependency because one person is going to offer more. I'm seeing that. But we have the magician card. It's like some of you guys are trying to manifest your wish fulfillment right here, okay? Somebody could also see you, Scorpio, as a wish fulfillment. With the Princess of Cups, some of you guys could be dealing with um, a younger water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I feel like somebody's wanting to come in and invest in you and they want to actually, like, offer you something different after this bullshit that's going on and it could be somebody's trying to actually give you an equal give and take 
or some of you guys, your wish fulfillment is for you to manifest a person that truly wants to come in with real love, real emotion, like, you know, able to express their emotion, um, able to put in energy and put in the effort and put money, time, energy, effort into this relationship to make it grow, make it work, and coming with, like, a major proposal. I also feel like somebody, like, could be wanting to come in to do this. Okay, Scorpio, because they can feel like you'll wish fulfillment. Maybe they feel like they need to step it up. But it could be a Scorpio. Um, you got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. A lot of Earth energy. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Can I find an Ace of Pentacles for Scorpio, please, for September? Yeah, we have somebody once again. Um, we have the Six of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, Prince of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Some of my Scorpios, you could be doing for another Scorpio, another younger Scorpio, male or female, or a water sign. Doesn't matter, um, male or female. I feel like this person could be juggling a lot right now. And it's like they kind of miss you. They see you as they wish fulfillment. They want to invest into you and offer something new. But it's like they're wanting to, play, they want to come to a place of peace and balance. So some of you guys definitely got options. But I feel like another person from the past is looking at you, Scorpio. They got a lot of love to offer you. They can be younger than you, a little bit more emotionally immature. Got a lot of shit that they're juggling with this two of pentacles right now. And like I said, they want peace between you and them with the six of swords. You could have moved away from them and got peace because there was a lot of juggling going on. But they're still watching you, okay? It's like they want to make this offer, but they know that they juggled the connection it was too much to handle for them at that time with the six of swords it's like you kind of moved on and it's like you're going towards your peace and happiness you're moving away from negative waters to calmer waters and it's like you're not even bothering this person and i feel like they're emotionally still kind of drawn to you how you're able to still balance things out and move forward with peace <laughs> i'm seeing that like because i feel like there's some people around you scorpio that kind of wanted you to be codependent on them um and, you know, I feel like you guys are doing your own thing for the most part. Okay? Or it could be some people that's codependent on you. Because some of these people can be friends, family members. But I'm really feeling like for some of you guys, it could be just people that you got attachments to. Let's see what's going on with the ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend for Scorpio. Clarify the ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend for Scorpio for September 2022. Yeah, a lot of you guys, you're, you're happy single. We have the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. You do have an ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend that sees you as wish fulfillment, somebody that they can marry. They see you as abundant with the Nine of Pentacles while off on your own. You might have a beautiful home, your own car, your own money, a nice, beautiful garden. For some of my Scorpio females, you're beautiful. You know, you give off this classy, dainty vibe. At the same time, you're regal and you're not to be played with. And I feel like you got the keys to success. You know, you're very successful, abundant. And I I feel like, you know, you're doing well on your own and people can see, a person from the past definitely see you as they wish fulfillment, they ten of cups, you know what I'm saying, they want to marry you, they want to have a family with you now, now they want to come back, but spirit is want you to stay grounded because, you know, you're into this new home, we had double car back here, um, this could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with, somebody is definitely addicted to you, they can see you as very sexy, like I said, it could be a soul tie, soul connection, a sexual connection. This person can also have addictions, okay? And that's why spirits want you to stay grounded if anybody's coming back with this devilish energy. Because they see you as abundant. They see that you're happy on your own. You're well off. And they know, they know that you have the potential to be happy, okay? And move on with abundance and marriage and stuff like that. But I feel like somebody, some of you guys could be still with a Capricorn that wants you to be stuck and bound to them. They could be possessive as well. Um, and they could be wanting to come back to control. And I feel like you guys are just not focus on that you're focused on your happiness and what what makes you happy and your abundance play out a double card for my scorpio coming around in venus for the month of september 2022 why is the double card here for scorpio mm, we have the justice card libra energy we have the four principles pentacles so it's dragon capricorn princess of wands i feel like you could be done for capricorn that definitely is like it wasn't balanced. I feel like with the four pentacles, this person could have, like, been breadcrumbing you. It wasn't an equal give and take. Um, this person can also have, like, their own issues. Maybe they need to see a therapist for some of them. They needed to, like, get some type of healing or peace. Um, financial advisor. Some of them was kind of, like, dealing with financial issues with the four um, pentacles. They could have been, like, breadcrumbing you or struggling financially and not really that you know because of their addictions. They could have been actually affecting their finances. But some of you guys, they could be also holding on to you. Um, some of them, all, like I said, need to get some type of therapy. This can be also them talking to somebody about, like, some type of legal aid, some type of lawyer. I just feel like this person had a lot going on, Scorpio. But you're abundant. You're well off. And this person sees that you, you made things fair and balanced with your life. I feel like this person was kind of unbalanced 
you know, they wasn't giving you much. And with the Princess of Wands, it was just like a sexual chemistry for them. It's like, they see you, like, some of you guys was like the other girl. Like, they had, like, another option between you and somebody else. And I feel like they could just been wanting to hook up with you because they're very sexually drawn to you. You know, very attracted to you, Scorpio. But at the same time, it's like, ugh. Why are you why are you here? <laughs> Clarify the four pentacles for Scorpio. Sun moon rising and Venus for the month of September. Ooh. Yeah, we have the three of pentacles once again towards Virgo Capricorn. Someone's wanting a partnership with you now. They're wanting to come in a partnership with you, but we have the three of swords in reverse. Like it was trying to come up right, it fell in my lap reverse. So I feel like you guys are getting rid of the heartbreak. You know, the third party energies. I feel like you was trying to build a partnership with this person or did in the past because this is the ex. And it's like they could have put you through a lot of third party, a lot of heartbreak, betrayal. And it's like you release yourself from that. You release yourself from that. You're focusing on your abundance right now. You're staying grounded, Scorpio. Even though these people are trying to come in and block you, I do feel like you got people, like some haters or some people that's really trying to block your success, Scorpio. I see you still moving forward. I see you still focusing on being truthful. We have the Queen of Swords here. So this is you staying truthful, staying balanced, staying honest, and having integrity about the things that you will not tolerate and the things that you will. You know, but I feel like you're being honest about what you want in life and what you who you are and what you stand for. And that's beautiful, Scorpio. Stay true to yourself, especially when it comes to love and people coming in. If you want love and you want full commitment in marriage with this hearth and card, that's what you shall receive. But you got to stand in your ground because the four of wands is here. Spirit said that you will be married soon. You guys, in the next... You'll meet just twin flame in the next... Look, I don't want to say four months. Some of you guys will be meeting somebody special in four months. Some of you guys, it might take four years, but it's coming in. Slow and steady wins the race. And I feel like a lot of you guys got your eye on a prize. You're finding your strength. You're staying grounded. You know what you want. You want you want full commitment with this Herfin card. We Taurus Aries energy. You guys want the true commitment. You want a higher level commitment. Somebody that's connected to you spiritually and that's on a high frequency. Somebody that can come in with stability. You know, the foundation. And you're staying true to yourself, okay? And a lot of you guys will be isolating this month. We got Virgo here, so a lot of you guys could be isolated from a Virgo. Or you're just isolating yourself to focus on your path, staying grounded, going towards your new beginning, your journey, and what fulfills you in life. And not focusing on any distractions, okay? So that's what I have for my Scorpios. You are the Empress, baby. You are very abundant. You're growing shit for the month of September. You're planting your seeds for your say Whatever creative idea you have, Scorpio, go after it. Put it out there because it's going to blow it's going to blow up it's going to blossom it's going to grow okay you guys could be a libra um or taurus that's coming in as well but it's going to be beautiful all these cars i i, I, I want to stop pulling but everything is beautiful sun energy is here you got to be feeling really happy for the month of september okay i hope these messages resonate with you guys let me know if they do leave a comment below and i will see you guys next month peace